All right, guys, so the long-awaited moment, the long-awaited moment for the Viper Blue car, the last evolution of Jennings over-the-top Shelby Super Snake Coyote powered Viper Blue notchback. Say that five times fast. You're a bad man. Um, guys, it, it's here. It's finally here. And let me take a little sidebar. When Jennings brought this car, you know, basically he wanted, he wanted the best. And it is. It's, it's next level. The situation arose when we went to put the carbon fiber drive shaft in this car um, that uh, the spline count was wrong on the T56. It was a stock T56 out of a Terminator. So at that point, it was kind of like, what do we do? And uh, you can see right here in these boxes, uh, this is what we did. Uh, Silver Sport transmission came through. We have a T56 Magnum XL, which we're about to pull out with of course the stifflers cross member the quick time the clutch the everything guys we're fixing to unbox this real quick but what do you put behind a 800 plus horsepower fox body you put this behind it uh, silver sport gets these in uh they'll just turn around and, and put a kit together and ship it to you uh this gets their uh, stage two performance enhancement uh which is installing carbon hybrid synchronizer rings um and these are supposed to be you know add better grip um and increased durability uh, and they also install bronze shift forks pads which you know basically guys it, it's all about durability it's about you know making the transmission stronger making it shift better it's uh, you know it's quite a few upgrades and not only that not only is this transmission upgraded and will shift at 8,000 rpms like it ain't nothing but it still retains all of the factory warranty from Tremec which is a big freaking deal especially when you spend money you know a lot of money on essentially the last transmission you're ever going to have to buy so uh let's get this bad boy unboxed let's let's see what we're working with here all right boys so there is the monster good lord not only that not only do they do all the upgrade guys we're going to talk about that but they do their own shifter um which I, I will be the first to say i didn't like how t56s and like tkos and all those shifted um they have assured me that this stx shifter which we'll get the driving impressions once everything's together uh makes these things shift like absolute butter so i'm definitely excited for that next on the list uh guys this one's going to be hydraulic clutch this one's going to have the pedal effort of a new mustang it's going to basically you know it's going to be like a new mustang it's going to shift and and the pedal effort and everything else is going to be uh super easy um you know ridiculously easy to drive and all the modifications are already made i mean this thing is out of the box ready to go in the car everything's here there's of course the stifflers cross member which already got one in the car but i believe this one might be a little different um for the magnum who knows but either way we got it um and again guys this is you know this is a, an all-inclusive kit what we got in this box here more fluid uh okay so we got our fluid and our hardware that's, that's the break-in fluid that's the yeah that's the break-in fluid guys sst recommends going 500 miles that's fluid. for the clutch fluid yeah uh they recommend breaking the transmission in about 500 miles with atf and then uh putting in the provided uh fluid from tremec then of course we've got our advanced friction twin disc that's even clutch that's yeah that's pretty freaking nice yeah, I like <laughs> Ooh, yes sir look at there and the bolts and, uh, it's got all the hardware ready to rock so that thing is no telling what that clutch will handle but got all the instructions and paperwork all right what do we got here i know this is the quick time bell housing so i'm pretty sure everybody's seen those believe this is all the hydraulics all of the hardware okay. guys when, when we talk about a kit it's all here it's like yep that's a reverse lockout Let's see with flywheel bolts okay guys this is for the hydraulic section of the uh the kit man our arp flywheel hardware and then of course transmission mount and we got the flywheel and, uh, it is all here boys 
All right, boys, and here we go. This is one of the extremely, extremely important parts of this kit is the uh, Willwood Slave Cylinder. Um, you officially, boys, have a hydraulic clutch. Um, this is this is not only going to give you exceptional pedal effort, um, but it's going to free up some room. You're going to have the, the clutch cable and the, you know all that stuff taking up room inside the engine bay. Got the flywheel. Oh, it's just like Christmas morning. Yes, sir. It's ready to go. That's it, five spec. Yeah, buddy. All right, boys, and of course, gotta have the quick time bell housing. And we got the beefy magnum out of the box. Hell, y'all, that is the uh, the last transmission you'll ever have to buy right there. I can't wait to fill this shifter. Of course, we got all the hardware, plates, spacers, and everything. Very nice. So that's the Tremec fluid. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Six gears now. Six gears. She's ready. And of course, we got all the brackets and hardware for the hydraulic uh, setup. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on here. Lots of stuff. Well, this is going to be pretty when it's done. I can't wait to feel this thing. Me too. All right, guys. So basically, the situation is we've got to get uh, Jennings' car up on the lift and get the uh, old T56 out. I say old; it's new. It's just not going to be used. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get that out and get this thing prepped for uh, the entire kit uh, from Silver Sport Transmission. This thing is going to be insane, boys. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to feel this thing. They have assured me it shifts like no T56 we've ever felt and the upgrades they did make this thing happy more than happy to shift at 8,000 rpm which is going to be crazy not that we need that many rpms but it's nice to know you got it there it is uh oh don't worry boys she's on dollies yeah that looks good before we actually do all the install and stuff, we need to get this old T56 kit out of here and get started. Um, guys, he is he will be selling this. If, if you're somewhere local to the Memphis area and you're looking for a T56, um, I'll have details soon. He's going to want to go ahead and sell this. But, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen the underside of this thing, boy, she's, uh, she's pretty impressive. Oh, Maximum Motorsport suspension. Just pretty freaking awesome ride. Cook's headers, X pipe, Stifler's cross, memorals, obviously. Gonna have that still. Pretty freaking awesome. Man, this is. Guys, I'm telling you, this is, this is a sweet kit. They've got every bit of hardware. Of course, everything is labeled. Nice braided lines. I mean, this is. This is a really, really next level kit. Everything's just super nice. Top quality. Very, very nice. Okay. Alright boys, we're about to uh, DT56. Pull this thing out. And the, uh, the interesting thing is we're hoping we can get around the headers because you can see right there where it kicks out a little it's bit it's gonna, gonna be tight it's gonna be <laughs> and bro if we gotta loosen these headers up mm -hmm. that's gonna be fun See, we probably should have took this o2 sensor out yeah we can yeah we can pull those out but mm -hmm. yeah guys pretty much i mean we didn't have the drive shaft in it yet the rest of the exhaust wasn't on so just to get the x pipe off take the cross member out disconnect the clutch cable take the starter off and get after it now that's T56 with the integrated bell housing. It's a little tricky getting up on those, especially those top bolts. Oh, well, time to bite the bullet. It's gonna have to come out, yeah? Pull in there. <laughs> dropping more like, more like dropping, but yeah, guys, it's just mostly the header. Really the header is the yeah, only, yeah, 
I mean, Open it's just, yeah, that's, you can see right there, guys, that kick out for the starter on the bell housing, and it just ain't gonna happen. And you can see the header bolts are next to impossible to get to, so just a lot easier to just drop it. Few bolts? Or? Yeah, just a few bolts. Two and two. Yeah, guys, it's uh, it's tight. It's very, very tight up in here. But at the way, the way the car is now, it's just easier to do it this way. That way you don't have to fight with it. Because getting the bolts out is a job. Getting them back in is even harder, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, we're good. Yeah. Uh, make sure your uh, brake caliper don't hit those. Yeah, you're, it's clear. Yeah. Uh, you got one wire right here. I think that's the reverse lockout or something. Oh, it's, it's a bug. Oh, is it? Oh, there it is. It was just hanging on the transmission. Yeah, you're good. You're free. All right. Just like that. That ought to be a little easier, right? All right, boys, so there you go. Uh, doesn't look like a lot, but it's a lot. Or maybe it does look like a lot because it was. But uh, basically, just got to pull the header off, and then we can get started installing the Silver Sport Transmission T56 Magnum XL kit. Guys, this thing is amazing. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Get this thing done. Love this kit. Love everything that came with it. It's uh, cannot wait to feel how this thing shifts. And uh, we'll know very shortly, boys. We will know very shortly. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Guys, I'm telling you, we got no end of projects coming. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. I greatly appreciate everybody that supports the channel. Um, doesn't look like it, but we work, our, we work hard here. So um, yeah, so I guess I'm done talking. Later.